Hey guys, it's Chris. Today we're going to be talking about breakaway systems. Not breaking systems, breakaway systems. And the reason I'm emphasizing that is exactly the point of this video. There's a lot of terminology and a lot of confusion in the flat towing market. There's a lot of stuff. And so it's good to pair some of that information back sometimes and explain what el every element of a system can do. And so we're gonna do part of that at least today by talking about breakaways. So wh what's the difference between a breakaway system and a breaking system? Because sometimes we'll hear customers use those two terms synonymously and they're actually very different. They usually are paired together as part of the same system, but they perform a different function. So whenever you're flat towing, you want a brake to do two things when you're towing. You want it to A, take the weight of your towed vehicle off of your motorhome when you're stopping to reduce stopping distance, to prevent your towed vehicle from pushing you forward into traffic. And that's the responsibility that most braking systems perform. The other thing you want a braking system to do is stop your towed vehicle in the event of something called a catastrophic hitch failure. And that's what your breakaway is designed to do. So what's a catastrophic hitch failure? Catastrophic hitch failure occurs when one or both arms of your tow bar fail and cause your towed vehicle to basically become separated from your RV. And obviously you can imagine if you don't have something to stop it, it can cause some serious problems, whether that's property damage or risk to life and limb. It goes careening into oncoming traffic. If you're you know, traveling at a high rate of speed, it can be very, very serious. And thankfully there's not many of them that happen uh, you know, per year. I believe it's under 10 in the US, happen every single year. So it's not frequent. But as a result of it being such a serious thing, the breakaway portion of things is oftentimes part of the legal requirement of having a braking system because it's so serious. So your breakaway again is satisfying that second portion of what you want a braking system to do. Now you can purchase just a breakaway as a standalone component. That is something that does exist out there. Uh, it still functions in a similar way to a braking system. It's just not braking every time typically that you are or even most times. It's just kind of there in case of that brake glass in case of emergency scenario with a catastrophic hitch failure. But most commonly, a breakaway is going to be an incorporated part of a braking system, including our brakes, the RVI Brake 3 and the RVI Brake Shadow. The breakaway is included. And when I say included, I do mean it is included as part of the cost of your braking system. When you purchase one off our website, every single one of them comes with a breakaway. And that is because in our case, and in most cases, with most braking systems, because the breakaway is such a critical part, it performs one of those two things that you want a braking system to do, most braking systems will not function without a breakaway attached. And again, this is true of the RVI Brake 3 and the RVI Brake Shadow. A breakaway must be inserted for either braking system to work. So we've kind of gone over what is a breakaway, what function does it perform, how is it different from a braking system, but what happens if you don't have a breakaway? Uh, and the answer is it gets pretty serious. If a catastrophic hitch failure were to occur and you didn't have a breakaway on your vehicle, you can become civilly liable for any damage that's caused and also sometimes criminally liable for any damage that's caused. It's kind of a no brainer to have one. And it sounds that way when I say it, but uh, there's a lot of times where we'll get questions and, and it's understandable because oftentimes you're in the middle of a trip and if let's say your breakaway stops functioning is oftentimes when this question will come up, well, can I just travel without it? Can I just set up my RVI brake and go on without it? And again, the answer is no, because it's so, so critical for your safety and for other safety. Uh, it just cannot function without it. We've designed both of our systems to make sure that breakaway is involved. If you are in a bind, we obviously want to help with that. We don't want you to be stuck. So you can make sure to call our customer service team. Uh, if it's a warranty piece, we can typically get that out pretty quick. Or if it's a purchase, we do have expedited shipping methods available even up to overnight. And in addition to that, there are many retailers that stock RVI parts that will stock our standalone breakaway kit. So that's worth checking as well in a particular area. That's usually gonna be some of the bigger box retailers that have that, but it's always worth checking, especially if you're in the middle of a trip and you need a new one. But it is a legally required portion. It's a required portion to make our system work and there's a reason for it. It's so critical from a safety, safety standpoint. Uh, you just, you really should never be without a breakaway when you're on the road, even if you don't necessarily have a braking system. Again, you can have a standalone breakaway without having the breakaway si or braking system, but not vice versa. We never want to have a braking system without the breakaway. Even though it's rare, you never want to be in a situation where you have a catastrophic hitch failure and no way to stop your towed vehicle. So if you've got questions on breakaways, breakaway functionality, any portion of this video or other videos, we're happy to answer those. You can reach out to customer service via phone, chat, or email. In the meantime, guys, happy RVing. 
Hey guys, thanks again for joining us. We can't wait for you to dive in a little bit deeper on this channel. We've got tons of other great videos, videos on products, stories, tips and tricks for when you're on the road. Before you go check those out though, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video. It may sound a little cliche, but it actually really does help us here on the YouTube side of things to make sure that we can continue to provide this kind of content for you. So if you've got any questions at all, never hesitate to reach out. We always love hearing from you. And guys, in the meantime, happy RVing.